Hey guys, I'm about to uh, show you a 2015 Ninja 300. This is the uh, special edition. This is, uh, it's got the graphics package on it. It is a uh, non ABS. I'm about to show you some mods I've done to it. Uh, we'll start off the first thing. Got a, a tinted out double bubble windshield on it. Makes it look a lot better than that clear one that came factory with it. Then we'll move to uh, the handlebars. They got driven clip-ons. Uh, I love them. They really do set you up pretty far. All I gotta do now is get some to cover those holes there and maybe caps for those. Uh, another thing, if you don't turn the brake line like I did there, whenever you turn the wheel, whenever this is down, that's gonna hit your gauge or whatever you can call that your screen right there so i'd recommend you do that and you won't have any problems with the driven clip-ons they uh they go on they work perfect so uh can't complain about them um right here we have this is a ebay exhaust i've got picked it up for about 60 bucks off ebay it is a uh, it's a non-branded it doesn't have any name to it um so it's pretty much like an off-brand. It, uh, it's supposed to be a um, Abercrombie, I think, something around there. I uh, just slapped a Yoshimura sticker on it just to give it a little bit of detail to it. So it's definitely not Yoshi, if you guys are wondering. Um, I did upgrade the rear tire size. This right here is a 150, no, this is a 160. Uh, the bike comes stock with uh, 140, so this is, it really, to be honest with you guys, it really made the bike look pretty badass. Uh, let me show you, let me spin the tire around just so you guys can see. Where does it show this uh, so right here? Uh, yep. 160-60-ZR-17. It is a Continental, right there. Uh, but yeah, it went on perfect. No sizing issues. As you can see, there's a chain on that side. There's the front there. To be honest with you guys, I'd say you could probably even fit a 170 on here and have no problems. Um, I got Yoshimura uh, rear stand pegs on the backs of it right there. Picked them up about 30 bucks. I got Yoshimura rear offsets. There's a view on that side. That definitely puts you back a little bit farther on the bike. There's another view of this side. Uh, the front has a 120 on it. As you can see, it it's made the bike look so much better. That 110 was just a small tire for it. Well, let's see if I can find it without, I don't think I'll be able to spin this tire around. Uh, be on this side. Yep, there we go. 120, 70 Z or 17. It's a, uh, oh, that's just the, the name of the brand there. It's Continental also. As you can see, there's, there's no rubbing issues with it fits on there perfectly yeah um pretty sure that's about everything it's a great running bike it's got about 3100 miles on it um can't complain it's a amazing starter bike but everyone's gonna move up eventually yeah uh let's see i'll start it up real quick for a second just to uh Show you guys what the sound of the exhaust. So you can see, thirty. Well, yeah, pretty much thirty-one. <laughs> That's it right there. 
Sounds amazing. Also, I almost forgot, this is a integrated turn signal. Um, let me just turn the key on. I'll go over what I've done with you. I'm gonna turn this turn signal on here. As you can see, it looks really good. That works. The front also works. Turn this side on for you. The front, it's the back. See if I can hit the brake at the same time by looking at it. Yeah, guys. Uh, also, when I installed that, there's a relay under here, right under here. I had to go in, change it out, and I had to run a ground off of it. Let me see if I still got the relay package. Relay package. It's an EP34. Got this in AutoZone. Vita. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it works great and everything. And I'll tell you the one reason why you gotta have that, because a relay, whenever you take off your back panels, here, let me turn this off for your battery does. Whenever you take off your back panels, you're gonna have to put another relay on it because the relay that comes with the bike, I'm pretty sure it's a solid state and it requires so much amperage in order for it before it starts blinking. So if it don't have that, or if you switch to LEDs or something, you're gonna have that problem. It took me about forever to figure it out, but once I figured it out, it was uh, common sense, you know. It's a fairly easy fix. You had to take off rear seat, um, the front seat, side panels right there, fairly easy. But uh, it's about all I can think of for the mods I've done to it so far. I might upload another video here soon about some other stuff to it, but. For now guys, that is it. Thanks for watching.